I think if we're being realistic, this is where the slippery slope comes into play where you could have said six, seven years ago, oh, they don't want to take your guns. Oh, they don't want the border to be wide open. Oh, this and that. They would never shut down the country. Five years from now, we could be in a situation where it's like, oh, well, the government's coming in and buying up all these properties because nobody paid rent. So, And the excuse is going to be, oh, it's uh, going to be guaranteed housing for the population. So and nothing to worry about, everybody. And you're going to get government jobs working on, on retrofitting these for the Green New Deal. We swear to you guys. I don't know. That might be a little bit... Um... No, it, that is, that's actually spot on. Let me just say that, you know, Andrew Cuomo, for everything that he's dealing with now, there was a point in time where he literally said that if you are angry ab about not being able to go to work in New York, then you should take an approved essential job so that's this is literally the next step to that i mean it's quite i mean to, to people like me and you it seems to be pretty obviously a communism overhaul but a lot of people don't understand it and you got cory bush out there eating oreos and talking about how she's going to save people but really it's just a ploy <laughs> so you could say that you know the government is going to save you but blackrock for all intents and purposes is the same as the government. You, there's even Trump officials that work for BlackRock, as I understand it, and I'm not an expert on it, but it's quite obvious that that's what's happening. What I'm thinking is that it's obviously majority Democrat states that are still open and perpetuated the idea that lockdowns are the best thing in the world. So you're locking well, people Democrat, down. Democrat. I think you said Republican, but... Oh, Democrat. did I? Okay, yeah. I, I agree. It's Democrat. Um, they're locking people down, the Democrats, they are making people lose all these jobs, which makes it so that they can't pay their rent. And then they come circle back around the house and they say, oh, also landlords knock on the door. You can't charge these people, so you can't make any money either. So neither the tenants nor the landlords can make money. Because who knows, some of these people might be relying on their rent income from their tenants to live. They've built themselves up to a point for whatever reason. It's their money. They can do what they want with it. So well, now we've made it so both of these people aren't allowed to make their own money as they were two years ago. And then on top of that, we're saying, oh, you can't uh, work. You can't work. So they're shutting down your job and then they're preventing you other people from making money. So all of a sudden we have two classes of people who aren't allowed to make money and the government and the government can't accept that it's illegal to do this. It's, it's really weird. And I, I will just say that, you know, for a long time, I've always kind of noted and probably multiple times on this show like i said i am looking for a new catchphrase but democrats <laughs> are the are exactly the type of people to steal from your house and then help you look for what they stole you know so they create <laughs> they create a problem and then sell you the solution that's it's it's textbook democrat right so uh, uh, maybe outside of the stealing thing it's like they could hit your knees with a bat and then give you a wheelchair and then send you a bill and demand you say thank you you know what I mean? It's like you cause the problem and then demand that and then suggest that you're the solution to the problem that you obviously created. I, I, it's painfully obvious to me and you, but sadly, there are a lot of people that don't notice that all of these problems are caused by, you know, a bunch of the same people. Eric Butler is his name. He's got a book out called New York City 2020 Gotham Unglued Hardcover on Amazon. Amazon Prime will get it to you faster, guys. There's a good ad for you, Amazon. He's also on the TatumReport.com. If you want to go there, search for this article, you just click on his name, and then you get the rest of everything he's written.